Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Um, I'm excited for this one today because this is from Heist Brewing. It's uh, another brewery out of Charlotte who, supposedly before I moved here, they were canning and then they um, their demand just shot through the roof. So they had to scale that back to uh, keep up with demand in the uh, restaurant and tap house. So they just uh, did a pretty big expansion from what I've been told and that's why they started canning again so this is one of the beers that I was I haven't had yet that people always told me this is one of the best ones so I'm excited to try it um it's called Citra Quenchal so it's uh like hazy IPA with Citra um 7.1 percent alcohol so that's all I got on that so I'm gonna crack this guy open and see what we have Already got the big hit punch in the face. From it now. Mm. That smells very, very juicy. Uh, I kind of poured it like shit, but I'm gonna let the the head die down just a little bit. As you can see, um, <clears throat> it's uh, pretty light in color. It's definitely completely hazy uh, there's no way you could see through this at all um, <clears throat> big fluffy white head that is uh, staying around not trying to go anywhere <clears throat> um, the aroma is big pineapple and orange um, really really juicy it's definitely uh, you can tell that it's it's citra forward if not all citra um, a little bit of like a can candied orange character too. Uh, it's, it smells like it's going to be on the sweeter side, but guessing for the style probably will be. <clears throat> so, the flavor, um, I would say... You know, a lot of these New England IPAs, the nose is so good, and then the, the taste just doesn't quite live up to the nose. I'd say that's not the case with this one. Um, I do think that the, the flavor is pretty chock full of juiciness, just as much as the aroma is. Um, let's see. Uh... Up front, it has like this, it's like a stinging carbonation and a little bit more bitterness than I would want from this style of beer. But the flavor is definitely there. Um, it's uh, it's just a little more carbonated than I would like for this type of beer. Um, and just overall, the, the, the body is, um, you know, it's... It's not very soft like some of the better ones in this. It's not uh, pillowy like some of the other ones I reviewed recently. Um, I, I think the, the bitterness is just sitting on the back of my tongue, which I, I'm not really appreciating very much. Um, that was a really nice hopper. Uh, the flavor is definitely there, though. Yeah, I mean, there's some peach in there as well. If if they could get this to be a little softer, a little creamier, and then scale back the bitterness, it would be a really, really good beer because the the flavors are spot on um, in something like this. You know, it shows that there's juices flowing through. Like that's what I would expect from this. Um, so. I'm trying to think because I usually like to judge these things based on you know what I want to drink several of these or what I get sick of it too quickly. Um, when I say you know buy drink dump, um, I'm floating between buy and drink because I just feel like I'm going to struggle to even get through 
this whole can because of how how sharp that carbonation and the bitterness is. Um, it's just like stinging the back of my throat. <coughs> uh, but the flavor is on point for sure. I will say that it was uh, 16 bucks, which is, you know, maybe a dollar or two cheaper than other places that are doing this type of thing. So I'll say it's priced right. You know, if I anything over four dollars, I start to think it's a bit much. Anything over five for a pound of can, I think, is a little nuts because then you're getting, you know, paying as much, if not more, than a pint at the actual brewery. So um, I think there should be some sort of discount for taking it away and in volume like this so but I'm going to go for one more taste to try to figure out what I want to give it the nose is really nice I'll say that much um, it is Yeah, kind of, it's just what I've gotten from all their, all their beers, you know, they, even the non-hoppy ones kind of have the same, like, the body is lacking a little bit, and, but most of the other ones, even though I think the body is similar in this, uh, we're actually a little on the flat side, this one I think is a little over carbonated, which is interesting, but, I, I'm still, I'm not regretting buying the six pack at all but I would I go back and buy another one um when there's other options available probably not um so I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to give this one a drink uh you know if you don't if you want that extra bitterness and that's your thing then you would probably like this more than I do because the flavor is there the flavor is spot on um but it's just a little bit too much for me to want to drink a lot of so uh, take that as you will, um, but I do have another one that I want to review from them, Bart is the Word, which, uh, I also heard is their other one that's really, really good, so I'm looking forward to that, um, you know, if that has this kind of profile, but they're able to scale the, the bitterness and carbonation back a little bit on that one, I'm really excited, so, but another, uh, solid effort from a brewery in, uh, Charlotte, I give them credit, uh, there's definitely no shortage of hops. Uh, especially New England style around these parts so uh, yeah that's about all I have to say with this one uh, like comment subscribe and I look forward to doing the next one thanks